Hello again, and thank you for joining me to read the Bible and pray together. In Hosea chapter 2, verse 15, it says, I will make the valley of Achor a door of hope. In the Bible, references to valleys usually symbolise hopelessness. Feeling hopeless is something that we all experience, and it's something that many people in the Bible felt as well. David said in Psalm 34 verse 4, my guilt has overwhelmed me like a burden too heavy to bear. After several victories, Elijah ran away and said to God, take my life, I am no better than my ancestors. We can read that in 1 Kings 19 verse 4. And Job, he said, I have no peace, no quietness. I have no rest, only trouble comes. And we can find that in Job chapter 3 verse 26. Now these were all men of God, but they still felt immense despair at times. And when we feel the same way, we can become convinced that there is no hope. But Paul said in Hebrews chapter 10, verse 23, let us hold tightly without wavering to the hope we affirm, for God can be trusted to keep his promise. The Valley of Achor, uh, the word Achor means trouble, got its name when Achan's family uh, was stoned to death and Israel's armies were defeated. And you can find that in Joshua chapter 7. But even after God's people had turned away from him, he promised the valley of Achor will be a place for herds to rest. They will be for the people who want to follow me. That's in Isaiah 65. God can transform our own valleys into places of rest and hope. Now, when we focus on our problems, they can seem massive and overwhelming to us. But when we focus on God and try to see things from his perspective, we realise that he can lift us up to overcome any obstacles we're facing. Nothing is too big for him to deal with. And as we read in Luke chapter 1, verse 37, nothing will be impossible with God. So why don't you find a photograph of a beautiful valley? You know, you, you may find it online. You may already have one. Um, print it off. Get a, take a copy of it and then write on it. Nothing is impossible for God. And save that picture somewhere where you know where it is. And whenever you begin to feel overwhelmed, use it to remind you that God will make your valley one of hope. Let's pray. A special prayer for this week. Merciful God, your son came to save us and bore our sins on the cross. May we trust you in your mercy and know your love rejoicing in the righteousness that is ours through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Now let's finish by saying the grace together. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen.